Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, Stylish Hobby, and we're up it together now for what shoes that just released. And today we're going to be talking about the Air Jordan 11 in cool gray. So guys, stay tuned. Hey guys, welcome back. And like I said before, today we're going to be talking about the Air Jordan 11 Cool Gray that released on December 11th for $225, um, which is a little bit steep for the price when it comes to an Air Jordan. But then again, um, I wanted to cop them, so I did get them on the sneakers app. Um, these did release on the sneakers app as well as many foot sites. Um, I know if any of you guys are interested in copying yourselves your pair right now, they are going for a little over, I would say between 280 to $400, depending on your sizing. So um, you can get them on the StockX website as well as the Ghost website if you're interested. But um, these are actually really cool and I wanted to add them into my collection simply because I know that they had um, originally released in 2001 and then they retroed back in 2010. So it feels really refreshing to know that we are getting them back a, almost a decade later. So I had to have them. And I also, um, one of my subbies on here was talking about them and he actually kind of made me want to get them. So you know who you are, bad influence. I went and copped myself my pair. So um, I'm really happy about that just because seeing them in hand, they're a very beautiful shoe. Overall, the materials, everything about this shoe, it just stands out to me and I really love. But um, let's get right into the full description and detailings on the shoes. So as you guys can see, these have this nice beautiful new buck material on the upper and that nice kind of light gray, cool gray as they say. And then moving along onto around the middle section of the shoe as well as around the toe box, it has that nice patent leather and that nice gray colorway. Moving along onto the midsole, as you guys can notice, it has that nice white midsole. And also on the back tab of the kind of like the side of the shoe, it has the John Manx logo on um, kind of like I would say stitched on in that white color going on to the outer sole as you guys can see they went for that icy um, outer sole which I really really love um, and I appreciate and then they went for this nice grip in the front of the shoe as well as on the back in that nice gray colorway moving on to the front of the shoes by the lacing unit as you guys notice they went for that nice new buck material on the tongue and i must say guys this material is so nice to the touch very soft um i would say to be careful with them because i think that this will attract dirt so if you want to crep them you can um moving along onto the lacing as you guys can see they went for that nice round lacing in white these did only provide you with white lacing so um, I wasn't complaining too much about it because like I said when it comes to these type of laces I usually don't change them I usually leave them as is but like I said before if you guys are interested in changing the color around maybe going for a gray color um, you guys can definitely check out ropelacesupply.com which is where I usually always get my laces they have all types of laces I'm pretty sure they have this type of lace as well so if you want to switch it up and change your laces to another color you can just check them out and I do have a coupon code for you guys it is stylish hobby if you guys are interested it is a 15% off coupon that you guys can use so check them out it is ropelacesupply.com I'll be leaving the link down below Moving along onto the tongue, um, as you guys notice, like I said before, it's that new buck um, material. And then on the middle section by the lace unit, it just has the John Manx logo um, branding on it as well. And then moving along onto the insole as well as the sock liner, they actually went for that nice gray colorway in the sock liner and the insole, they went for the John Manx logo in white. So yeah, guys, that's basically it. Lastly, on the back tab of the shoes, they went for the 23 in that nice, um, I would say like kind of like design that they go for in the number that they go for in white. 
and yeah guys that's basically just it when it comes to these very simple shoe but then again looks really clean on feet i would say these are so comfortable i would say they're more comfortable than the jubilee um i don't know why i feel like the jubilee is a little like harder or stiffer in the inside when you wear them um this i was very impressed with because like i said when i wore them i wore them all day and they didn't bother me not one bit very comfortable true to size like i said before and yeah guys that's basically it when it comes to these i feel like this is a shoe that every sneaker head should have is a must to have in your collection just because of how popular the 11s are and i know most sneakerheads love this silhouette in particular which i am one of them i'm not complaining i really love them and um yeah guys enough said about that so let's jump right into the outfit that i chose for these and i actually chose two outfit ideas um when it came to my top um the first one that i went for was um i actually did just choose a crew neck in that nice gray colorway and i thought it went perfect i believe i got this at if i'm not mistaken marshall's um yeah it still has the tag i paid only 12.99 guys for this and it's a really nice long sleeve crew neck really nice thick material which i really really love and i thought it was perfect with it what do you guys think let me know in the comments down below um i did pair this off with some kind of like i would say medium wash jeans and then i finished it off with a jean jacket over top so let me know what you guys think on that fit um i actually did go for another fit but i failed to actually um do the outfit um idea outside so as you guys um, can see later on in this video you'll see my full fit with this one but i did choose this crew neck and i absolutely love this one so much and this is calvin klein and it's just a long sleeve and it has like kind of like that color blocking on the sleeve and all around um kind of like the um the shoulder part of the shirt which i really really like um it looks really nice and i believe i got this at burlington if i'm not mistaken i think i paid like 30 dollars for this one a little bit you know pricey for a burlington type of item but i wasn't complaining because i really love it it's really thick it's calvin klein and it went perfect i actually went for a uh, medium actually i went for large in this one which is pretty you know weird because i usually go for medium so that means that this probably runs small but i do like the oversized look that it gave me and i just loved it and i also paired it with the medium wash jeans that i went for for the other fit and i thought it went well so let me know what you guys think let me know which outfit did you guys prefer the most if you guys preferred the um calvin klein crew neck or if you guys preferred my marshall's regular brand um i it says here denim and flower i don't know if that's a familiar brand but it's just a marshall's brand um if you guys prefer that one instead but in my opinion um i must say i really really enjoyed this fit better just because of the color blocking i thought it was perfect to be honest i think that this crew neck was made especially for these because it's just so perfect the way that it looked and everything so um yeah guys that's basically it when it comes to the outfit um like i said this is the type of shoe that you can pair with just about anything um i would say maybe wear black jeans as well you can wear any color jeans in my opinion and it would still look really nice um they just look so clean on feet guys they look so nice i love them um another thing that i failed to mention to you guys now that i'm looking at the shoe is it does have a little bit of that carbon fiber plate by the medial side of the shoe um so that's a nice little touch that they went for and then they also have the jumpman logo inside of the um i see in soul in that white colorway so i just noticed that right now um but yeah guys that's basically it when it comes to this video um let me know what you guys think in the comments down below and thank you guys so much for watching don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to my channel um anyway guys see you until my next video bye